I'm going to show you how to make this grocery bag holder. You need two ponytail holders and an H hook. And to start off, you need to slip stitch to grab a hold of this um, ponytail holder. And you're going to grab a hold of this uh, ponytail holder, elastic band ponytail holder. Um, slip stitch onto your hook and then take your yarn and place your yarn under the ponytail holder and then go over the ponytail holder with your hook and grab a hold of that ponytail holder and then do a slip a slip stitch and then you're on to you just hooked onto that ponytail holder then you're going to chain three the yarn I'm using is just um, red heart yarn and all instructions are listed below so chain three one two three and then work five thirty five double crochet so one double crochet two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Nineteen, Twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. Thirty-two, thirty-three, 
34, 35, 35, and then you have this chain 3 and you're going to slip stitch in the chain 3, so 1, 2, and then 3. Okay, so now you have your ring. And rounds two and three, you're going to chain three. One, two, three, and double crochet in the back loop. So this is your front loop, this is your back loop. So go right into that back loop and work a double crochet. And when you do that, you'll see on here it creates a ridge here. So you have a ridge and a ridge. And you're going to go in each back loop around. I'm going to go to this chain three and slip stitch on top one, two, and then three. Then chain three, one, two, and three. And you'll go into the back loops again around. So just go in each back loop around.
We're going to slip stitch on the top of the chain three, one, two, and three. And then chain three, one, two, and three, and then rounds four through 27, you'll just work a regular crochet, double crochet around. So just work a double crochet in each double crochet around, and you'll, you can do this up to 27 rounds or as many rounds as you prefer on the length um, that you want for your bag holder. So round, round, four right now and then you're going to go all the way until you I have it set for 27 but you can do it for how many how many rounds you prefer And then on top of that chain three, you're going to slip stitch one, two, and three. And then chain three, one, two, three. You continue that same pattern around for 27 rows. Um, I'm going to show you on this one how to do the bot, how to finish it. So once you get to the end, I'm going to show you how to slip stitch your um, rubber band or your ponytail holder. Okay, so you're at the end. And you're going to grab a hold of this ponytail holder. So grab, have it go in your ponytail holder, and then you're going to go over your ponytail holder and you're going to grab it and work a slip stitch to grab a hold of it. And then you're going to you can even go into this next double crochet and work a single crochet just to really grab a hold of it. And you're going to chain one. And then take your ponytail holder and then go into this next double crochet and grab a hold of that yarn and your ponytail holder. And then work another single crochet over 
and this is all um, on your ponytail holder and just work a, a single crochet around so go under grab that yarn go over your ponytail holder and work a single crochet and just continue that around and it is going to be um, a little tight with this ponytail holder so just make sure you stretch it out and so right now you have this in your ponytail holder So now your top of your bag is starting to take shape. Okay, now you're going to get to the end and you're going to slip stitch in the chain one. These ends here are because I had to reattach yarn to get it going, but um, you can take your yarn needle and weave in those ends. So now it should look like this. You should have it um, all, the single crochet going all the way around and this is the opening of where you'll place your bags inside and then at the bottom is your where the bags will come out. And then to work a handle Okay, so to work a handle, just chain 40, so you can work 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 
24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Then you take this handle and on the opposite end you have it here and on this opposite end you'll attach it with a slip stitch so here we go and just slip stitch it on okay so you'll cut the yarn and pull it through and then you take your yarn needle 